Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of Off the Top with Rikishi Fatu. I am your co-host, TMD. Now, we want to thank Knox Pro Entertainment, our main sponsor. If you want to find out everything Knox Pro, just log on to the World Wide Web at www.knoxpro.com. Big Keish, man, you are a man on the move. Oh, what man. is going on? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm, uh, you know, I'm. We back in the studio. You know, uh, been busy. You, you know? are in the lab right now. You are working on some new music. Yeah, you know, uh, you got a little. Uh, what, what do you think? I got a little taste, and the it, world, you guys, ain't uh, ready. I think. I think there's gonna be a lot of feathers being roughed up on this. Thing You're here. actually gonna debut a little teaser. Uh, when is yeah. it? Well, I'm going to drop it on the day before WrestleMania. Wow. Okay, so, you know, make sure you guys tune in. You'll, you'll see all the posts uh, that's going to come out of my feed and so forth, all my social media. And, yeah, you know, it was just, uh, I just wanted to, you know, drop something. You know, I worked hard with my team uh, behind the scene, by my man Frank Ward and also Michael. Uh, we just put something together, you know, and... Uh, and I, I it, it's, it's coming straight from the heart, man. Man, real spill. That was very impressive. Like, for because yeah. from what I heard, and I don't want to spoil too much. Yeah. But uh, what I heard was dope, and I can't wait for the world to hear what you are spitting, hot doggy. Well, I mean, that's gonna be the first track up on the album. So. Okay. And, and it's gonna debut the day before WrestleMania. Yeah, we gonna drop something for okay. the fans. Okay. The day before WrestleMania, so they they just. They, I just felt like they needed to hear something. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? So, you know, and that. that. So that's one of the good news. And, uh, you know, excited about, you know, uh, last uh, this past weekend, mm -hmm. I was at Wrestling Guy Store. How'd that go? In Huntington Park. It, it went great, man. It was a good turnout. You know, all the fans were out there, you know, standing in the sprinkled rain. I and, saw that, yeah. You know, I want to thank everybody that showed up, you know, and also, uh, you know, the, the owner of the Wrestling Guy Store, by the name of David Gomez. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are ever out there in Huntington Park, dude, they got a nice store out there. They've got okay. all kind of memorabilia out there. Mm -hmm. uh, they got all kind of wrestling stuff, you know, action figures, you name it. Uh, but the most, uh, 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 the thing that I love about it, it's a nice uh, community store that the community supports the store, the store supports the community. That's awesome. And able to make things happen. I've been wanting to go to the Wrestling Guy store for a minute. So if you're out here in Los Angeles or Huntington Beach, y'all make sure to check it out. Big shout out to David Gomez. Yeah, and they were, like you said, they, those fans were standing in the rain. I saw the footage, yeah. and they were excited when you showed up, man. Yeah, well, it's, it's great. It's great, you know, just, just part of the job. Mm -hmm. You know, at this time of my career and so forth, it's like, you know, things like this matters to be able to reach out to these small business owners and, you know, make something happen, not to only bring awareness uh, to their business, but also to the community. You know, I mean, there were so many fans that came out there talking about the bloodline. Mm -hmm. Who am I with? Am I going with Yeet or, or no, no Yeet? yeet. <laughs> and boy, there you go. And they just <laughs> like, so I couldn't answer. I just said, I'm, 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 I'm pulling for both of them. Right, right. You know, it's just hard for for a dad to to kind of pick which one. You know? Um, speaking of the fans, yep. um. Man, so if you go to YouTube, like, the show is on the main homepage. Like, the YouTube uh, is promoting the show now. Well, that's so awesome. kudos to you, Big Quiche. Uh, off the top is is doing pretty good. Well, I'm, I, I think the credit goes to the fans. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Yeah. Our, our show, obviously, you know, it speaks volumes why YouTube will want to put, you know, this... This uh, newborn as a baby podcast, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's it's a it's a very uh, I'm very honored, but you know, I can't take all the credit, man. You know, the credit got to come to you. Mm -hmm. It's got to come to our staff, our team behind the scenes here, and just just the whole crew, you know. Uh, and again, you know, I, I tell like I tell it uh, a while back, nothing here is scripted. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, we we just uh, you know two dudes just come together and and to be able to just talk about the things that are in professional rest, things that I know. Right, and then things that I love as far as with hip hop and so forth, and and just you know utilize our platform right. as always to each one teach one. Yes, sir. Um, speaking of uh, hip hop, uh, Dr. Dre got his uh, walk. I mean, his star on the also... Walk of Fame, and I know you love Dr. Dre. Hey, the Chronic he, man. He, uh, I, I, yo, okay. Since we're talking about the Chronic, yeah, uh, in more ways than one, uh, we're gonna talk about the Kishi Kush one day too. Kishi mm. Kush one day. Stand by. Um, so the Chronic versus the Chronic 2001. Which album is your favorite? 
Um, I'd have to go number one. Okay, yeah. So that'd be the yeah. the one that came out in 90, 91, 92 with yeah. the G thing on it. Yeah, yes. yeah, right. I yeah. mean, that's for me. That's when it really dropped. Yeah, like, yeah. The whole world kind of said, "Oh, you know." I, I, it almost kind of like was touching. Like the, for me, it was funny because would the radio play this? Mm-hmm. It was so hard. Yes. You know what I mean? Gangster rap back in the day, right? Right. They, they didn't even know if they want to touch that or air it on. On you know the radio and so forth, but now it's like you know years later, you know if they didn't believe in you know in uh, in their product and you know what what they're talking about and so forth, you know they took the chance. Doctor Trey and the whole crew, Ice Cube, everybody, mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg, you know back in the day, and you know good for them, right? Yeah. Because now it just kind of opens up the door for a lot of other young hip hop artists that are out there yeah. that you know might you know want to be. Uh, want to know which kind of route that they need to go, you know? And so these guys here, they paved the way. So big shout-out to Dr. Dre. Yes, sir. For you receiving yep. his stars. Yeah, you know? Especially everything he did with N.W.A. Man. You know, so uh, just... Uh, oh, did you see that movie? Yes, sir. And I, and I And I liked it. I really liked it. And I thought O'Shea Jackson... Yeah. Did a really good job playing his portraying his father. Yeah. Um, I thought he did really good. Shout out to O'Shea Jackson because I know he watches the show and one yeah. day we're gonna get him on here. But um I really liked that movie. Did, what, did, what, did you like it? I thought it was great. I mean, you know, to be able to kind of pull down the curtains for us. Right. You know, from us looking from the outside, trying to look in, and just to see, you know, all the drama and you know that that you know that portrayed on the movie, right? It just that's real life, you know what I mean? Whether they were rappers or not, but mm-hmm. any family, they go through drama, any friends, you know, but and you learn about, you know, uh, greed and stuff in there, right? Like they had no money, and all of a sudden there are these, you know, millionaires that make selling out records, shows, and so forth, but, you know, the circle wasn't that tight that it, it, it let other people come through. And had a know, big like, falling out, of course, like, Dr. Dre and Heller, Heller and, you know, that cat, right? Right, right. So he's making money and stuff, you know, not not telling the truth off a contract. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, what we learn off of it, if you have an album, if you're an independent, you know, uh, guy that's trying to put your music out, make sure you get a good attorney to check out all your stuff. Because, I mean, that's kind of like the way to go now to protect yourself. There it is. If you ever need legal advice, legal. call Rikishi. That's it. Our dirty managers uh, skipping out on paying you the bill. If you need justice, all you got to do is call Rikishi. <laughs> Give me a yeet. <laughs> so, man, we're picking it right back up. fun with this mixed port. <laughs> we're, we're, we're coming. Oh, Drink Master's coming, by the way. Holy oh, okay. mo- This is looking. Wow. This was what blue the... Hawaii. What is going on? Look at this. What is this, Ring Master? This one is a smackery. Smackery daiquiri. I will take that. Smackery daiquiri. Sm- no, is it the smackery? Smackery daiquiri. Smackery daiquiri. I like all right, this, okay. this for all the hardworking people out there, those that are tuning in and always supporting the show. Manuia, cheers Manuia. to you. All right, wow. Thank you, though. Oh my. It's mm-hmm. really. Oh my goodness. Oh, smackery daiquiri. Smack, smack, my taste smack buds. the blues. Smack the blues in you. Oh, Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw. Last night we saw uh, some things go down. Mm-hmm. And the, the road to WrestleMania is looking super exciting. Not letting us down by a long shot. Last night, The Rock walks into the ring. And wow, did you see The Rock's entrance? This new, these these video walls that got behind them so with the, the, the arena blacked out and there's just this lightning behind him. The electricity. Jesus. I mean, I'm telling you, that, that was uh, captivating. That was electrifying, pun intended. Mm. Um, I was blown away, uh, blown away by those visuals. Rock comes into the ring, yeah. stares down Cody Rhodes, and, and, and just walks up to him and he whispers something to him. Now, everybody wants to know, Big Keish, what do you think The Rock whispered to Cody Rhodes? I'd have to say tonight you bleed. And if you need stitches, all you gotta do is call Rikishi. Yeet. There it is. Wow. And and bleed and bleed he did. 
bleed he did. You know, that, 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 I'm telling you, man, you know, after watching some clips from that, boy, Rock just, this is the Rock we know. You know, I, I like the Rock being a heel versus being a baby face. I mean, he he brought all that so much. It, it almost feel like that segment took us all the way back to Attitude Era. Yes, sir. I mean, this ha this happened in Chicago. And a lot of stuff happened in Chicago, you know, with the Attitude Era, you know. And uh, this was Stone Cold blowing up rigs and stuff like that. But to watch this unfold this uh, this Monday, man, uh, you know, Rock was in his element. In the rain, uh, too. Yeah. When was the last time we and, saw a beatdown on, on uh, WWE or Monday Night Raw in the rain? And, and you know what? When you when you watch something like that unfold, this is where, you know, this is where we gonna draw some money. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? We we we're what one week away, one week away from the biggest show on earth, and you got the bloodline up against Cody and you know Seth Rollins and so forth. The Rock and I mean this these angles can go any which way. The Usos versus the Usos, the Rock versus Cody. It can go any which way. And, you know, I'm very, I'm very, um, what's the word am I looking for? I'm cautious to say say things that I feel that might happen. And hopefully it happens the way it's built to happen. You know, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of, let me just say this. Don't trust no one. DTA. It is. Don't trust nobody. Everybody that's involved in this, don't trust nobody. Roman, Rock, Cody, Seth Rollins, the Usos versus each other, Paul Heyman. You know, don't trust nobody. In every, every, I mean, they're still one week away. There can be new players that shows up on Monday. There could be other players shows up Friday. Then into WrestleMania. So, but we'll see, you know, but that was some some damn real, real good, good, you know, good heat. And good heat on Monday. Very good heat. Probably the best I've ever seen. Yeah, he, he definitely looked aggressive. He looked mean like a good, you know, like a really strong heel going into the biggest show uh, of, of the year. Uh, and, and, and this is absolutely... Uso mania, no doubt about it. This is your family's biggest moment in the professional wrestling history. Wow, you know what? And it just on a personal level too, man. Mm -hmm. Just to know that uh, the big Uso is on the board, and the board is uh, you know with TKO, just now kind of involving in the early stages with WWE. You know, to be able to jump in front and lead that, you know, there's there's uh, you know there's things that got to prove, man. You know, and we got to we, we, we got to put, you know, make revenues happen. We got to put asses in seats and and, you know, who better to do it, you know, than Dwayne. Yeah. I mean, be it Hollywood or professional wrestling. I mean, anything this guy touches, you know, turns into gold. Right. That's his new Papa Pui now. Men fragrance sets out the number one tequila in the world. Right, Terramana, you know, he's got you know, uh, you know his uh, sport, sportswear uh, armor, uh, armor. That's all. Uh, what rock armor or something like that, right? Rock armor, right? No, 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 no. It's a different one. It's armor something. But um, regardless, he's got a lot going on. Um, no, no doubt about it. Um, so my my point was before you cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. My point was, <laughs> drop bombs. <laughs> so my point was that, hey, you know, the person, there's a lot of, you know, uh, uh, personal decisions behind, you know, all what's going on. I'm not in there, but from experience and from seeing what everything's folding, you know, they, 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 they got to really make this happen, not only for, you know, the numbers, but also for, you know, TKO, you know? So, yes. Uh, it's Under Armour. Uh, I, I, the team has um, sent me the information. I got the memo. It's Under Armour, and it's a very so, The Rock Under Armour. Yes, sir. Because he has his brand. With yep, he's got the the Brahma uh, bull on it. And my apologies, also for getting it wrong, but yeah. I mean, it's all good. I mean, there's a lot going on with the Bloodline, your, your yourself, and as a matter of fact, we also saw 
uh, Rhea Ripley is going <laughs> viral. <laughs> Shout out to Rhea. What's happening, girl? Man. And yeah. you, know you know what, yeah. Big Keish, before we get into her, uh, how does it feel? Because uh, obviously she's going viral right now for delivering a stink face, your mm -hmm. finish, your your patent move. Uh, yeah. How does it make you feel when you see other people d do the stink face? Um, I, I, I uh, oh, man. Um, jeez. Because, <laughs> you know, you're, you're old school. You're old school. I'm sure she didn't call you and say, hey, I'm going to do your move. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure on one end, you're like, you know, hey, girl. Well, how do would you feel? I guess I feel I'm honored, I yeah, guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to, you know, it's, it's funny to me. It's happy to be able to see the new generation of today continue to, you know, to back it up, you know? Yeah. I, 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 that's, that's what I would like to call it now. You know, the girls out there, they backing it up. And uh -huh, they, they uh -huh. shake what their mama gave you. you that's know? right. And, you know, when Rhea pulled it up, let's let's go further now. When she pulled that up and uh -huh, it uh -huh. became a thong. Yes. You know what I mean? When that sucker became a thong oh. and then she put a little bit of jiggle on it. Mm -hmm, boy, mm -hmm. that little jiggle, boy, <laughs> that make your brother want to say yeet. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> The only thing was real. Listen, mm. if you're going to back it up, mm. if you're going to pull out that, you know, that, that the most dominant, famous move, mm -hmm. I like to call it, mm -hmm. in professional wrestling, the stanky face, mm -hmm. stanky face, mm -hmm. then you got to take your time, girl, and back it up. You know okay. what I mean? You can't just run up to it. You know what I mean? She did the good part. She threw the thong, you know, uh -huh. made it like a thong, mm -hmm. did a little jiggle to it mm -hmm. before. But she should, she could have just slowly, oh. just kind of back it up, you know. Yeah, like, I agree. You know, you go into the car wash. Mm -hmm. You know, you backing into the car, wash, just nice and slow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, love, Rhea. Oh, wow. Love. <laughs> you know, and, and, and uh, I gotta say, man, uh, I, 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 last Christmas I knew she was over when yeah. I went to go buy her doll for my my niece, and uh -huh. hers, you couldn't find it. Anywhere, yeah. So uh, that's how I knew. Wow, like it, it was great to see that uh, people are buying the figures as well. It's great to see this kind of stuff happening. Yeah. And uh, man, she's awesome. I think she has had a wonderful, wonderful uh, last few years. You know, with Judgment yeah. Day, and I, just, you know what, I feel like something's missing though. Really? Yes. Well, like, well, like you what? know what? It just feels like factions mm -hmm. are the go-to nowadays with WWE, right? Mm -hmm. And it, you know. It just, when I seen the group, mm -hmm. the missing puzzle to me, because she looks that gothic, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. black lipstick, her mm -hmm. eyes are just, you know, all black makeup. It just looks evil, but sexy evil, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I think and I feel the person that could add on to that faction mm -hmm. would be the OG, the guy himself, the Uso himself. The Vampire Warrior oh. Gang Grill. Oh, my God. Can you see that? Yes, sir. Man. Yes, sir. You see the old G, old David, come out, boy. <laughs> man. I mean, the bloodline's got the wise, man. Right, and they just right? need the vampire. I mean, who's Cody and, uh, who's Cody and, uh, oh, Seth Rollins gonna have, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe Stone Cold or somebody? Or? CM Punk. See uh, or, or I don't know. I don't. I don't know. But I really like that the Gangrel with the Judgment Day. Yeah, but I mean, in order to work with guys that come in with faction, has to be OGs. Mm, absolutely. But OGs that were, you know. Yeah. If you see Cody, I kind of see. I don't know how that would work, but I would almost see his brother come out because he's in uh, uh, Dustin Rhodes. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm mean, to really tie this story in. Blah blah blah. You you seen you know, Usa uh, call out the Rock boy, drop the f bombs yes, on Rock. Yes, he did. I saw that. You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. You know, I never, well, I well, never, I never seen Cody uh, ever, ever. I mean, not Cody. Uh, oh, Dustin. Uh -huh. I never seen Dustin cuss like that before. Well, like you said, you don't know what's going to happen. This can go so many different ways. People could show up the next day, that Monday, at WrestleMania. You can show up uh, at WrestleMania. We <clears> don't know what's going on. There is just so much going on. Um, you know, Keish, you're a busy man on the move. We know you got to get out of here. Um, do you have any last words? Well, remember this. It's always free to be kind to one another. And always, always smarten up. It's time to smarten up. It's time to say things that people are scared to say. 
it's time to bring you on into my home so you know what time it is. In the locker room, in the hip-hop world, in the wrestling world. You might even come into my kitchen. 